More than 7,000 mostly Central American migrants continued their march north towards the U.S. border Monday, saying they are seeking safety and better economic opportunities. Our message is we're not criminals. We're coming over here because we want to work. We need a job. We need better, you know, a better life. That's why we're here. That is on top of some 3,000 Hondurans who have already quit the caravan and returned home. And the more than 1,000 who stopped their journey in Mexico, claiming refugee status there with the help of the UN's refugee agency. Numbers will increase in the coming days to address and ensure adequate protection of information on the asylum system to members of the caravan. But most say they plan to continue their slow march to the U.S., a more than 2,000-mile journey on foot. This bridge, this river, they can't stop me, she says. I am an all-terrain woman. President Donald Trump expressed his disappointment that the caravan has not yet been stopped, saying Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador were not able to do the job of stopping people from leaving their country and coming illegally to the U.S., we will now begin cutting off or substantially reducing the massive foreign aid routinely given to them. Most of the money the U.S. has promised to those countries for this year has already been spent. The scheduled 2019 foreign aid packages from the U.S. to Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador add up to more than $180 million. Kelly Smoot, Currents News.